Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Jenking Off. Today I'll present you OTK Necro Valley Elf Lich. This deck allows Elf Lich to OTK going second or play Elf Lich, but with the addition of Necro Valley. Let's jump right into it. We are playing 3 Sundari on the Time Lord. We can normal summon this without tributing if only our opponent controls a monster. This is a huge beat stick and a level 10 monster. Then 1 Malefic Cyber End Dragon. This can be special summoned by banishing a Cyber End Dragon from our extra deck. It's on 4k as well, it's a level 10, but it destroys itself if there is no field spell on the field. Then 2 Gravekeeper's Commandant. This can be discarded to search Necro Valley. 2 Lord of the Heavenly Prison. This can protect our back row, special summon itself as a level 10 monster, and set any spell or trap from the deck. It's just a really good card, but sadly it doesn't do anything going second. Then 2 Lich, this is removal, and it can special summon itself from the graveyard. By sending a spell or trap we control to the graveyard for cost. This way we can even do the Lich effect under Necro Valley by sending Necro Valley to the graveyard. And we don't mind doing that because we can activate Necro Valley from the graveyard in our opponent's turn with Necro Valley Temple. That way we can use the Elf Lich trap effects in the graveyard to banish themselves, to set another trap, and we can just activate the Necro Valley from our graveyard on our opponent's turn and because necro valley is so good this format this is just hilarious and our last monster in the main deck is ash blossom we are playing three of this it has some synergy with some other cards which i'm going to explain later for the spells we are playing three necro valley as well as one necro valley throne to search commandant uh terraform wing to search necro valley foolish burial to send lich uh, Feather Duster to just be generic spell trap removal. Uh, three Pot of Prosperity because we really want to find the temple, as well as three Raigeki because this really helps OTKing. Then just the default Eldritch package, uh, three Scarlet Sanguine, as well as three Conquistador. Uh, then three Skill Drain because we got those nice 4k monsters we want to play. And three uh, Solemn Judgment. Solemn Judgment is just crazy if you go first. In the extra deck we got the Cyber End Dragon for the Malefic Monster, a Zeus, a 7 Sins package uh, consisting of a number 77 and a number 84, uh, two number 35s, then a number XX, <laughs> Infinity Dark New Topic, as well as just some uh, machine rank 10s that could rank up in a Juggernaut Liebe. So uh, two Liebe, uh, two Gang Derry, this can inflict damage to our opponent as well, uh, two Rail Cannon Gustav Max, this can inflict 2k to our opponent and then we can rank up into a Juggernaut Liebe and this can uh, boost itself to 6k and when we just Raigeki uh, do the um, do the Gustav Max uh, 2k burn and then attack with a Juggernaut Liebe for 6k it's already game. And finally we got a Super Dora which can just make itself unaffected by card effects basically as well as a World Chalice Dragon. This can just link off your conquistador because sometimes you really want it in the graveyard and because it's not a level 10 monster you would really struggle to get this off the field in the side deck we are playing three sphere modes because we don't need our normal summon uh, three droll just as uh, dark world or pendulum hate uh, three cosmic as back row hate and if we know we are going first we can uh, put a d barrier in and if we know we go second we can play evenly let's jump right into the replays in this replay i'm playing against runic and he got a decent hand gozen hurts us a bit uh, majesty's fiend is kind of good against us because we can't lich we can't ash depending on when he summons this and yeah he could just try to deck out uh, deck us out also he got protection for the uh, fiend with slumber so yeah really good hand on his side I end on Necro Valley plus Necro Valley Temple and a set Sanguine, so he can't shuffle anything back with a fountain. He prosps, I ash. Uh, prosp is kind of weird in Runic because you can't draw, but I've, okay, I guess. Summons Yugin, discard Gozen, that's kind of good for us. Then Tribute summons the Fiend, battle phase is skipped, so yeah, he just has to pass. I special a Lich from the deck, he pops it with f Flame, uh, with yeah, Flashing Fire. Then I can uh, thin the deck a bit with Throne, grab myself a Commandant, but I can't Command it because I can't use any monster effect, so can't grab a Necro Valley from the deck. I'm trying to Raigeki here, he can protect with the Slumber. I'm a bit lucky because the Banish is not really hurting me that much. He tries to shuffle stuff back into the deck to draw three cards, but he can't because of my Necro Valley. Top deck's a DD Dynamite. I Prosperity. Here I could have gone for mm, could have gone for the Solemn as well. I choose to go for the Kong because I can't use Lord of the Heavenly Prison because of his Majesty's Fiend. Set the Kong, pass, he swings in. Then I top deck a Raigeki. Then 
here it gets a bit complicated. I go for uh, Chainlink 1 Lich, send the Necro Valley. He activates Freezing Curse to special summon a monster from his extra deck. I can special summon my Lich. Then he tries to activate his Fountain because I currently got no Necro Valley on field. I can just flip up my Necro Valley Temple as Chainlink 2. Chaining 3, I banish Sanguine to set a Kong from the deck. Then in a new chain, I use Kong, special summon this, pop the field spell, normal summon commandant, and make a Imdurk with the other Kong. I can't use the, this Kong in the end phase because I got the Necro Valley on field now, but still really decent board. He sets 2, but uh, the top deck was a Tikaboo, and I got a dragon, a spell cast, and a zombie, so that uh, wouldn't have done anything against me. <laughs> Here I am playing against Exosister, he Prosperities, I Ash, then he uses the Martha, uh, yeah, should have maybe kept the Ash, I guess, uh, makes a Mikalis, Mikalis detach one, grab himself a uh, Returnia, uh, set as an Imperm, a Gozen match, and a Summon limit, pass to my turn, standby phase, he flips Gozen, he flips Summon limit, uh, I Duster, he uses Returnia to banish my, my Ash, I guess. Uh, normal summon my Sun Dion, then Eldritch F, uh, discard itself plus a spell or trap to send a card on the field to the graveyard. Send his last monster to the graveyard. Chaining 2, I use the Scarlet Sanguine to uh, banish itself to set a Kong. Then I send Kong from my field to the graveyard. Special Lich, make a Gustav Max. I'm not using the Prosperity, obviously, because otherwise he would only take half the damage. Then I'm um, ranking off into a Juggernaut Liebe. Liebe 6k attack for game. Oh, GG's.